Hi everyone, this is Aman. You are watching your Tech Man Health. Today we have Yojana with us. Hi Yojana. Hi Aman. Yeah, congratulations for being placed in Consentix company. Thank you. Yeah, can you please introduce yourself to our audience? Hi friends, I'm Yojana. I hail from Tenali. And I'm currently pursuing my B.Tech in Good Level Eru Engineering College, Good Level Eru in Computer Science as a major stream. Yeah, okay. So, can you explain us the entire, uh, you know, pattern for the Concentrix company from start to end? Uh, first of all, the Concentrix company was an on-campus try for us. And it was a one-day selection process. And the uh, selection rounds are written tests. Like one is aptitude test and the another is paper coding round. And next we have technical interview followed by HR interview. And then offer letters were released. Okay. So uh, the entire process has been done in one day, right? Yes, it is. Then uh, how are your technical round? Is it uh, quite uh, easy or difficult? What are the questions asked? Uh, like in my technical interview, interview round, uh, the interviewer mainly focused on my introduction, like where basically I have, basically I have told my strengths and weaknesses and my long-term goals and short-term goals. Uh, so as I have mentioned, what are the skills I, I am most familiar with? He separately asked me that. Then I said that I was familiar with Python and the DBMS. Then he went on asking the topics from those subjects. And then he asked me to pick one among the subjects which we have he had given me out. Then I have picked the operating system. And then he asked me the scheduling algorithms question. In DBMS, he asked like normalization topics like 2NF and 3NF. He asked me to solve them and elaborate them in more taking examples like in reality. Okay. And in Python, he asked uh, like basic questions like which concept. And he also asked me to write a code, like Fibonacci series. And he asked me to explain the code which was previously solved by me in paper coding round. Yeah, okay. I think uh, it's a long technical round, I guess. It took uh, at least half an hour, I guess. Yes, it was. And he also gave, gave us uh, logical questions. He shown us in uh, his system and like he asked us uh, how many optimal ways we would uh, complete this given task. Like for example, if you are given a bag of balls, like consisting of three colors, then in how many optimal picking out ways, you would be getting uh, three balls of same colors, like four balls of same colors like that. So according to you, the interview is completely packed with all kinds of stuff. Yes, it was. But basically, mainly he were he cling on to the foundational part and our problem solving abilities. Yeah. So I think uh, the thing is you have to be clear at the mentioning clear at mentioning your skills at the beginning. So based on that, the most of the questions were asked. Yes, it is. Yeah. Then how is your HR round? Is it more friendly or it is more technical? I think it's more friendly. Like uh, as he asked me to introduce myself again and my regarding my family background, regarding my career goals, like whether I would uh, want to pursue further studies or not, whether I would uh, agree to relocate and sign bond and if, would, if I would be agreeing to work on whatever project he is giving to me like that and he also asked me that what was unique in me uh, i think uh, he was yeah. trying to get my communication skills so uh, you mentioned that there is bond how much time uh, is uh, the bond is for how much time you know it's for 3 years okay so you you are in your opinion the hr interview is quite for communication skills and it's quite friendly Yes, it was. Yeah, then can you uh, explain it or can you do rating? Uh, how is the difficulty level of the entire process out of five? It was three. 
Yeah, okay. How much time it took to get the offer letter from the end of the HR interview? Like the HR himself said that uh, by the end of the HR round, yes, you have been gotten selected and so on, so package, and you would be getting uh, you would be getting onboarded by, probably by this time of the year like that. But he also said that it would not be sure. Okay. Like about about the onboarding. Yeah, that's great that uh, the information of the selection has been disclosed at the same time. Uh, how is the aptitude test? You mentioned that the first test is aptitude test, right? How is the aptitude test? What is the pattern? What is the difficulty level of it? Previously, I have forgotten to mention that it was a paper coding down. Yeah, that's interesting to know. Oh, yes, it is. We are given a question based on uh, arrays and data structures. And we have to use the uh, greedy algorithms and like knapsack problems. And the question we have given is to fit the chocolates in the boxes, uh, which would be giving a maximum profit. And yeah, we have okay. given 45 minutes to solve. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, are they concentrated on the logic or even in the syntax part, are they concentrated only on logic? Uh, mainly the uh, their focus is on uh, logic and the time we have taken to solve the question. Yeah, I mean, uh, is it a single language oriented or it is multi language oriented? It was a multi language oriented. We have given C, C, Java, Python, and I think .NET also. Yeah, okay. We have a choice. Then, yeah, okay. Then, uh, how many, how much time it took to get the result of this written test in mean, this coding test? I think they have taken 30 to 45 minutes to evaluate our answer scripts. Yeah, okay. Is it uh, yeah, is the coding question is difficult or easy or medium? I think it would be a medium question. Uh, one can solve it. Uh, who was using a uh, Geeks for Geeks website and coach of platforms? They can find it pretty easy also. Yeah, okay. So can you share your tips and tricks for the people who want to get placement concentrates or any other startup companies or any other companies? I think that nowadays startup companies were also so, uh, focusing on our problem solving skills and our logical ability. So I think that one should be practicing attitude also. Uh, and we should uh, get grip on our fundamentals and we should try to uh, practice coding online like in coach of platforms and to get a uh, brief idea and more idea about the fundamentals, we can go for gigs for gigs. Yeah, okay. So thank you for the interview and thank you for sharing your experience with us. Yes, I'm glad for this opportunity as it would be useful for many others. And thank you, Ashna.